during these walks, it's a great way for your pup to start relating good things with you. The exploring and the being out and the sights and the sounds and the smells and everything that's out there, having a good time, he's going to relate that to being with you. You want these guys to be bold and go out there and look for stuff. Don't be in a hurry for any training or any concepts that you teach. Take your time. It's not about who gets there the fastest or my dog is the best at whatever and he did it quicker than somebody else. That doesn't matter. It's having fun. Teach right, not fast in the back of your mind for everything you do, everything you teach your dog. Okay, this is what the uh, choke chain looks like. You grab the ring, drop it down through the hole, and then when we use it, we'll be pulling up on it like this. Let's talk about how we're going to approach teaching force fetch. There's a sequence that we're going to follow. Force fetch is going to be one of those things that is definitely going to try your patience. So the first step in the process is just to teach them to hang on. This is actually the first time this dog's been on the table and, and held a bumper. It's not natural to just stick something in a dog's mouth and have them hold on to it. Remember, anytime you're in the teaching mode, you need to be patient. Your job is not just to teach them the concept, but to build their confidence along the way. The way you build confidence is through success. The more success they have, the more confidence they have.
we highly suggest that you have respect for this tool. trainers. When my dogs come off the table, they've been exposed to piles going left and right. They've had some simple casting and been forced to a pile even before they come off the table. And I think this is an advantage for the dog. If you pay attention, I think you'll notice a few things that may tell you why it's an advantage. Notice the attitude that this dog has now. We've come full circle in our training, from teaching her obedience to teaching her to hold all the different steps on the table, reach out in front of you, down the table, go to the piles, pick them up off the piles, onto the ground, walking fetch, and she's put it all together, and she's got this, she understands it, and she's just having fun, and that's really Anytime you can accomplish that, you've done a good job. in here.
So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring the parts of the retrieving sequence together. And this consists of obedience and then force fetch. And we're going to make those connections so that we can teach the whole sequence to the retrieve, which is sit, mark, release them on their name, hear, heal, sit, and then drop. And that's the entire sequence. So what we're going to do is put all those parts together and tighten it up so that we can use that in the field when we're hunting or if we're running competitive events, hunt tests, those sort of things.